This is this is a cubicle. <laughs> it's got some Dilbert written on it. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. Some space issues. Um, interior design is not actually one of my strong suits, which it isn't. No. Okay, you, okay, you and there. How's that looking? Man, you got some space issues. <laughs> Right. Some nice shelves, though. Uh, yeah, good shelves. Love them. All right, so welcome to the inaugural episode of I Bet You Can't Do That on a Chromebook. Right? That's the name That's of the That's it. Yeah. Good. Okay. So we have, how many did you do? Did you two? I did, did one uh, two? two. The Chromebook native photo editor and then uh, the Pixel. And I found a way to remove ads from the Pixel. So that's a third video. And you've got Polar. Well, you just outdid me right from the beginning, okay. didn't you? Let me just shut this off right now. No. Yeah. So the idea was, uh, we saw a post from uh, my friend Tim O'Leary. He shared, I think, five apps um, for photo editing on a Chromebook, which is something people always say they can't do on a Chromebook. So we chose a couple of those to share, and then Jeffrey obviously went level up on me in doing that. But we'll start with uh, we'll start with Jeffrey's first one, which is. Editing with the Chromebook, there's a native app in uh, Chrome, and the only limitation there is that you have to have the file already downloaded into files. So I've got this picture downloaded into files. Uh, it only takes a couple extra steps if you're trying to get a picture off a particular URL. So I'm going to click the editing icon here, and I'm going to click the editing icon here and crop it. So I'm going to take this down a little bit. There we go. Looks good. I've got some choices of proportions here. Done. Good. Okay, so brightness. It's a little bright. I'm getting a little glare off that forehead. Uh, try to dampen that a tad. Uh, yeah, and contrast. Very simple stuff here, sizing, resizing, and I'm done. So that's the first level off of uh, the native app. Which is enough for most people. Yeah, right? resizing is a big, you know, yeah. resizing is what a lot of people do this, and it always bugged me to have to go into a big heavy program to just resize a photo for some purpose. And it's true. Uh, okay. Well, well done. That's uh, the, good picture choice. Uh, and if you want to play like that, just just know that you've opened the door. Once uh, that door is open, okay, yeah, there's no going back. Do you have a second one? Because I just uh, yep. so nuked myself out here. Your second one was the Pixlr. Yep, Pixlr Photo Editor. Editor. This runs entirely in the browser. It's not an extension, uh, so it's accessible on any platform. I'm going to start by opening an image from URL. And this is a, a screen by Edvard Munch. Over here on the left, you see all the tools. So if you're a Photoshop user, you're very familiar with what these look like. There are also on the top menu is uh, the list of the menu of all the tools. So the free transform, free distort, uh, the image size, canvas size, so on. A lot of this is a uh, Photoshop based language. So this should be very familiar to you if you're using a, a higher end photo editor and higher end to me means uh, we're able to do some layering. So I'm going to go to uh, image, sorry, layer and open image as a layer. So the screen I got uh, from a URL and this next picture is already on my Chromebook. So I'm just showing two different ways in which a picture can come here. Uh, I'm going to move that a little bit and grab my eraser. Uh, so this will remove, if, again, if you're familiar with layering, uh, this is an easy way to do it online. And I'll just add a little bit of text right here uh, to show that I, we can do that. Uh, stop. We're from the AOE. And size let that go. So it's it. Uh, there are ads on the right which get pretty annoying, 
But <clears throat> other than that, there uh, a lot of what you see in Photoshop. This is a, a good app for layering, pixlr.com. So a couple things you were mentioning while I was playing that this is the only one that you saw that does layering, yeah. which you proved, yeah. and um, that it's also very similar to a photo editor, um, like Photoshop or something like that. Yep. I think it's pretty easy to walk in and, and start with that. And you did a, another video about how to remove the ads. Yeah, those ads are really annoying, so there it is. On the right side of Pixlr, uh, screen there were a bunch of annoying ads. I found this extension on the Chrome Web Store Pixlr Remove Ad and once uh, once you install it and then restart Chrome you can see those ads have disappeared from the right side and my my screen is a little bit bigger it's not quite so crowded so this is a pretty a pretty easy quick way to make that screen uh, easier to see and get rid of the annoying stuff and probably help with the bandwidth as well. Well, Pixlr might not like that very much, but hey, right. well we're not, done. We're not sending it to them. They already probably Unless you want to sponsor the videos, then just yeah. right. give a call. All right, so I did okay. Polar. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, if it's just Polar or Polar. Um, I was pretty struck uh, just at the ease of using it. I tried another one on the page. I tried the Sumo Paint or whatever it was, and I had a lot of trouble navigating that and learning how to use it. So uh, I was pretty impressed with Polar um, and its abilities. Hi, I'm here to talk to you about Polar Photo Editor for Chromebooks. One of the first things they like right off the bat is that this serves as an extension so you can add it easily to Chromebooks, easy to find. When you log in for the first time, you have a choice between Pro or Express. I chose Express. Once you're in there, they have a nice tutorial that walks you through all of the options that you can do with the photo editor. Um, great tutorial, nice and helpful, quick and easy. They also have a lot of export options, which is a big plus when you're doing photo editing. You can do a lot of different exports, save the files different ways, use watermarks, all sorts of things. That's a big plus. When you upload your own photos, it's pretty easy to get going right away, which I can certainly appreciate. Not all photo editors are like that. Once you get your photo up there, you can almost immediately start editing figuring out what you want to do, find different filters, change the lighting, do all sorts of different stuff. You can also add some features that aren't on the standard default setting. So I added the face editor, different textures and things like that that you can mess around with if you want to go deep into photo editing. This one selects a, a face that you can edit um, and it chose one of the uh, models behind me to be able to do that. And it's just a great, smooth photo editor. I uh, really liked it, really easy. I think any photo editor where you can get up and running with minimal effort is an A+. Plus. The other thing that you can do on this is you can easily, um, there's a tool specific to blur faces. Mm -hmm. So I know that in some schools mm -hmm. that's an issue with oh, privacy. That's great. Yeah. So it's really easy that's to nice. do. Um, I was telling Jeffrey earlier that, that what I liked about Polar is that it's similar to a social media app and filters and things like that. So I think it'd be really easy for people to navigate. Um, there weren't any ads, there weren't any of those things. No. So it, it, it just felt nice. clean, simple, and got yeah. the job done. So there you go. I think there, there's a handful of things, and we're going to link to Tim's post uh, so you can see all of the tools that he recommended. But hey, anyone that says that you can't edit photos on a Chromebook, hey, hey. 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 All right. Right there, we fixed it. And cool. I'm a little worried about all the photos you took of me, but you know, hey. Well, they're already posted. I can't really get them down. Now. I mean, they're they're out there. It's on now.